But you're talking about this attack on masculinity and what they did with Trump and he's a sacrificial lamb. Um, you know, who, the face of masculinity these days arguably is who? Andrew Tate. Right. Yeah, and, and so I was really interested in speaking with Andrew Tate. I know you guys had him on this podcast, too, yeah. because you can debate whether or not you think what he did in his history, should he should account for it now, and, you know, he was involved in all of these things. I get it. I get it. Tens of millions of men follow him, okay? Your opinion about his past means nothing. I need to understand this, right? I, I am the person. I think it's really stupid, and it, it defies logic when people say that, Oh, this person has tens of millions followed. This means that all tens of millions of the people that are following him must be racist, must be, must be misogynist, yeah. must be human sex shopper. I mean, you're just not even trying to think or trying to understand the culture moment. I am right. way too interested to come up with an assessment like that. You know, tens of people are not following Trump because they're racist. That's stupid. OK, yeah. so you're missing something and you should be interested in what it is that you're missing. Tens of millions of young men and grown men are not following Andrew Tate because they hate women. OK, that's a very stupid, shallow assessment. They want more women, they, to be yeah, honest with exactly. you. Exactly. <laughs> and so, and when I started realizing the people that were following him, you know, college graduates, men that are interested in business, uh, what the Hustler University was all about, I wanted to under, I wanted to, to speak to him. And what I've realized is he is a direct cultural response to ten years of men being told that they are not shit from women. Right? The Lena mm. Dunham's, the girl culture, the yep. Taylor Swift with ten, an army of ten girls. Uh, every song's about a guy and why men suck. Who? I mean, who runs the world, a, girls, who Beyonce. Runs the world yeah. Beyonce, yeah. girls. The future I mean, there is has feminine. been a, te like a decade, the future is feminine, Hillary Clinton, you know, men just I'm shut up, Me Too movement, a decade of men being told that they have no value, mm -hmm. no value in this society, okay? It is inevitable because I believe in equilibrium, right? Because I believe that eventually the world has to correct itself, the energy has to correct itself, that there was going to be men that started saying, actually, mm -hmm. You do have value. <laughs> Actually, that woman has no value. Actually, women ain't shit, right? <laughs> you know, because she's a hooker, because she's a sex worker. And this is what we're seeing right now. And to people that don't understand that, it's because you're you're pretending that we haven't been existing under a matriarchy. I'm actually longer than 10 years. I mean, it's been about 15 years of sustained trash talk to men that has just been circulated in the mainstream media. And the best part about it, which is just so brilliant, you gotta love women because we can be Machiavellian, is that at the same time that we're doing this, we're claiming that we're the victims. <laughs> right? yeah like, which one is like, it it's like I, and also like me too and time's <laughs> up and yeah. but like we're completely dominating the narrative <laughs> for the last 15 years um and so i understand it i get it and i'm actually so happy that men are starting to talk about what it means to be a high value man and to bring in a high value woman right and so is andrew tate the perfect person who uh, mm -hmm. you know that in his past is his no he's got a lot of things in his past and I and I said to him when I interviewed him you know I think he should just be forthcoming and um, have humility and admit the mistakes and he did a little bit of that in the interview he said he looked I showed him some old clips of himself and he genuinely was not happy to yeah, hear himself speak yeah. right. genuinely the, the, you could uh, see it on his face like embarrassed that this is who he was 10 years ago you're speaking people our, change our, people can improve people can change let him change yep. because what an asset Devolve. he would be you know to uh, he he has these men that are following him allow him to evolve allow, allow yep. him to be sorry allow him to make changes and don't be above anything else stop discounting all of those young men that are coming from broken homes that are directionless and that are being told that they have no value that are following him fully agree one more point with this the high value man you said high value man high value woman i think it's very easy to define a high value man a man who's protector provider present for his woman respects people physically fit on the outside morally um correct on the inside obviously makes money man of status it's easy to define that's not the problem how would you define a high value woman though especially these days is it beauty is it social following is it just being a mother like what's yeah. a high value woman uh, i think it, it is a woman that wants to be the ceo of the home i think it is being aspirational i think it is allowing men to lead i, I genuinely believe that that is the dynamic that works like my husband leads in our household you know that is that is just the way that it works you know um uh 
I think it is being beautiful. It is an element of it that part of what the feminist rinsing tried to do was to, you know, the Lena Dunham's don't shave your armpits. That's, that's part of the page. That's no. disgusting. You know, like make yourself less attractive. You know, it's because men like attract. Okay. You think you're going to convince men to like ugly women if we just make ourselves <laughs> ugly? It's like trying Never to. Never like, going to happen. Yeah. Ladies. It's like you're trying to make somebody say, like, eventually you're going to make them love disgusting food. Like, you know, you know, of course, people, you mm -hmm. should be attractive. You should take care of yourself. But it, that shouldn't be the number one focus on Instagram. I'm trying to be sexy. It's also being conservative. Men like mystery. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.